What is it that happens to your brain when you're happy? The answer lies in a molecule, and the more of it you have, the better. Oxytocin is a chemical that makes us care about other people. So as social creatures, we're designed by evolution to connect to other people, and oxytocin facilitates that connection. So we found that individuals who release the most oxytocin in experiments are in fact happier in their lives. And they're happier because they have better relationships of all types, romantic, with family, with friends, and they're even nicer to strangers in experiments we run. So how do I get more of that? How, how do we all get more oxytocin? So I think the big news is that you can train your brain to release more oxytocin. So this has been shown very clearly in animals, and the more you release oxytocin, the easier it becomes to release it. So when we're running around every day, Paul, and, and we're all stressed, uh, what kind of effect does that kind of stress have uh, on, on our bodies, on the kind of things that you think are significant? It's a wonderful question. So high levels of chronic stress inhibit the release of oxytocin. So most of us have had that experience where I'm stressed out, I grump at my partner or the people I work with, and it's unpleasant and it degrades the value of our relationships. So what we need to do is actually slow down, take a breath, meditate, pray, take a walk, so that we can reduce those stress responses and be better at connecting to other people and then sustain that high quality relationship. Is there a connection between age and happiness? We recently ran a study funded by the National Institutes of Health to understand if our ability to form connection falls off as we age. And we found it did not. So even though people in our study were quite old, sometimes in their 90s, even hundreds, they still had the ability to form connections and get the pleasure and the health protections of having a rich social network. How are our brains different, sort of scientifically, uh, when we're stressed and when we're more relaxed? So stress puts our brain in survival mode. So we think about what we need for the next 10 minutes to get out of this stressful experience. When we're more relaxed, it's easier to connect, it's easier to feel the sense of connection to others, and it's certainly easier to release oxytocin. So if our happiness derives from connections to other people, stress is a major inhibitor in our happiness. So we've actually got to thoughtfully work on reducing the stress and increasing opportunities to connect to others.